In this video, we're going to go exactly how to ship your products to the Amazon warehouse. Especially, we're going to be touching on how to actually initiate your shipping plan, how to fill out the full shipping plan and the labels that you're going to gain from that shipping plan and what to do with them and just cover the entire process so you feel confident in being able to do the same shipments into Amazon. Real good guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do as this channel is best for Amazon FBA sellers. So do subscribe it and like this video right now. This can be one of the more worrying part if you are a new seller. So this video will be a detailed video that goes over what you can expect within shipping plans. So what we'll cover at this stage is like you have to be actually uh, like begun manufacturing and now you are looking to understand exactly how to send inventory into Amazon Fulfillment Center. We will cover this to the following key areas and the number one is we can go over some of the details you want to gather from your supplier or your manufacturer before starting the shipping plan. There is nothing worse than getting halfway through a shipping plan and realizing that you don't have a certain dimension that you need. So we are going to go through this list in full so you know exactly what you need before starting your shipping plan. Secondly, we're going to show you how to initiate your shipping plan as like also like fill up all your shipping plan and then how to apply the labels that are generated from the shipping plan what you should be doing with those and then tracking the shipping plans and what to expect after that. So where um, this also include where you will find all your tracking numbers and how to fill them and once your shipping is actually shipped and what to do after from that point. The required information is that before starting the shipment plan, you are going to want to gain the following details from the supplier. Number one is that the supplier or the ship from address. So it's usually going to be your supplier's address. So manufacturer address or like manufacturer address, but you will need the shipment that address. That is the address from which your goods or inventory starts its journey to the fulfillment center. Number two, you will need the number of units per carton. Otherwise, the number of uh, your small units, each individual unit that you would, um, you would see the number of those per bigger box, per shipping box, or so-called a carton in most cases. And it is actually called a case when you are doing a case pack shipping plan. But it is those big cardboard shipping boxes that holds your individual units. So you want to know how many of your small units are within those big shipment boxes. Number three is the number of cartons. So this is the number of those big cardboard shipping boxes. Number four is the size of the carton. So length times width times height, one of the size of those big shipping boxes. Number five is the weight of the carton as well. How much do they weigh they, when they fully load it with your units? Are like ready to ship and lastly your freight forwarder name like you are using DHL, FedEx, UPX um, you're gonna put that into your shipping plan as well so you have to make it ready beforehand so now that we have all of these needed details how would we actually initiate your shipping plan or what you would do is actually navigate to the specific listing this is the listing that advertises the products that you are sending inventory for and you can find that listing within manage inventory under the inventory tabs in seller central you're gonna go to the side of that listing the right hand side and hit the little edits drop down box as you can see here then you know that you're gonna select replenish inventory from that drop down list and this is what actually starts your shipping plan now we go to the shipping plan and we are gonna go through this step by step Number one, you're going to select a new shipping plan unless you are adding to an existing shipping plan. Most of the time, you're going to be creating a new one. Secondly, you're going to enter your supply address as the shipping from address. This is where the goods start their journey. Select the packing type as follows, individual products, 
so you are going to select this anytime that you have mixed products right going into the warehouse or mixed quantity per box so for example if you are shipping in a shipment of six boxes of red coffee marks but the number of coffee marks within those boxes all differs you could do individual product if you were sending in a shipment of six box of coffee marks in other words some of them are red and some of them are blue all mixed up then within those boxes you would choose individual products on the other hand with case pack products you are gonna use this type if all the boxes that you send are filled with number one the same types of units and number two the same amount of units per box so if you can make sure that each of your uh, six boxes is going to be in the shipment, each of them has exactly 10 co coffee marks within them and that's every single box only has 10 red coffee marks in them, then what you could do as you case pack shipment and benefit to case pack shipment is that they could be received faster at the warehouse because Amazon can take out one unit, scan one unit and then put that back into the box and know that there are 10 coffee marks in there. Therefore, it moves into inventory a bit more quicker. So based on what your shipment is, you will choose one of these two packs types here. Use cake pack if you are looking for fast inventory receival. This is more applicable to non-variation private label products in this packing type of your cartons. Those big shipping cardboard boxes that hold your units, those are actually called cases. When you make sure the unit type and the unit count per box is the same. Okay, so once you have decided, you are just going to click on the continue to shipping plan. Now you can enter the units per case here. And remember, that will be the number of individual items within your bigger cartons. Input the number of cases, that is the number of bigger cases or bigger cartons or bigger shipment boxes that hold your units. Check that the total number and the units add up and that is the accurate to what you plan to ship in. Click continue and select the merchant from the uh, like who preps down and here if you and your supplier is going to apply those FNSQ to every single unit. Note that you could also choose Amazon here if you wish to pay them a certain amount to apply these labels for you. Click on continue. Next, on this next page, you're actually going to click print labels for this page to get your FNSQ. If you haven't already downloaded, these chances are that they already downloaded these from the edit drop down on your listing under manage inventory, where you can click on print item labels that will also get your FNSQ to use and it will get them into you far sooner than your shipping plan stage where you need to know what box number of boxes and dimensions of boxes etc in any case this is where you can uh, again download those fnsq if you have already downloaded them from the edit drop down menu of a listing then you will notice that they like they will be the same that will be using the same in your listing either way ensure that the fnsq is applied to every single individual unit Know down the label sizing as well. This is something that can be a good habit if it's simply just note down the size given to you and the little box here next to the print label for this page. Always note that down, pass it on on your supply if they are applying those labels and I will just make sure that barcode is going to be scannable. Then click on continue. Here, you can input a custom shipment name and you could use the something like the product name, your product number and the quantity and the date. If you wish, this will help you keep track of the things and all of your orders as well. Take note of the first indication of your ship to address in this case. You can see it is the last Texas where they have a very big warehouse. Check that this case and the unit numbers are accurate here again and click approve shipment. Note down that your shipment ID that you can use here because suppliers or freight forwarders may as well ask you for this in the future as well. Click on shipments and here you will be able to note down your full ship address shown at the top and you are going to want to pass that to your supplier or your freight forwarder. 
select small parcel delivery down at the bottom here and if you are not shipping pallets or they're like most of the time this is what you will be choosing until you scale up select a less than truck load that's ltl if you are shipping pallets and your shipment is over 150 pound so once you do the larger shipments c shipment paradise shipments you are going to be choosing this one input the freight forwarder you will be using under shipment carrier at the bottom here now you will choose here how this shipment will actually be packed you can choose everything at one box if it is all going to be in one box or multiple boxes which is what you are going to be choosing most of the time for private label and then this is when the shipment is obviously split into multiple boxes of cartons or cases if you're doing case pack input the units per box configuration here down at the bottom putting the number of boxing putting the box weight and the box dimensions and then you are gonna click on confirm take note of the instructions on the side here boxes must not exceed 50 pounds print all shipping label as they are unique this is very important unlike FNSQ which is an individual product and always the same the shipping labels are unique in other words if you send in 10 big cartons in shipment do not make the mistake of thinking that the shipment labels are all the same the shipping labels are actually unique in other words box one has shipping label one two has the shipping label two it said that for each of these boxes make sure you print all of them and apply them to each box accordingly do not cover box seams like uh, with the labels and boxes over 30 pounds should have a heavy package or a team lift label effects to them in europe they are like um, to use the heavy package label and in the us they like you to use the team lift label so if your boxes are heavy just apply this in case note that the recommended label size here again hit print label uh, box labels you will definitely gonna print all these if it's the only place you will be able to print these so once they are your amazon shipping labels that go on your uh, bigger cartons and total fulfillment center what's inside those boxes you will not be able to print these anytime earlier than now unlike the fnsq that you will have to have these at the earlier stage Send the Amazon shipping labels to your supplier or your forwarder for application to those boxes before they are sent to the fulfillment center. Then click on complete shipments. You can note down all the details of your shipping plan at the top here so you can see them all laid out neatly for you. Note that the shipping status at the top as well as the button called the mark as ship you are going to come back here and hit that button marked as shipped once. Secondly, also take note of the tracking numbers, spaces below here because once you shipped and gained your tracking number, your freight forwarder or supplier, you are going to come back and put those tracking number in the space for each box. If the entire shipping just as one tracking number then you're going to put this in your um, tracking number for all the boxes here you can scroll all the way to the bottom and note the options and these options would be like go back then delete shipment return the shipment queue or duplicate you can click on return to shipping uh, shipping queue and once you do that you will end up on this page shown at the bottom here you can view your newly created shipping plan and all the others here and you have created here. So over time you have a few here and the status of each will be showing to you in this column. Click track shipment when you actually have shipped that product and you have your tracking numbers on hand. It is going to take you back to the page we just looked at and you're going to hit the mark shipment input the tracking numbers and then you will try to wait for your inventory to arrive once your good actually do make their way to the fulfillment center amazon is going to email you at the email address associated with your account they are going to tell you what your career has checked in and the trailer there and that your goods are being received and then what you can do is actually navigate back to this page here to check how many units have been received and how 
you can do this by going manage FBA inventory and the inventory in seller center. So anytime you need to navigate back here, that's all you can do it. Inventory manage FBA shipments and once that happens, it will begin to be received here and you will see your units becoming available under manage inventory as well. And that is how you are going to ready up for, for your shipping plan created that shipping plan fill out the shipping plan and then what to expect after that i hope this made sense guys and you are now more confident in getting your goals to the warehouse smoothly don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right now and i will see you in the next video in three two one go